exactly where I was the night that God spoke to me and told me the name of our church. It was to be River Church. And he reminded me of a verse in Psalm 46, 4 that simply says, There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God. And I knew that that's what we were to be. Our church was to be like a river flowing through our city and the people that made it up were to be the individual streams that would flow to their parts, their regions of the city to make glad the people's lives that they would encounter. The psalmist is speaking prophetically and poetically of a day when a river will flow through the city of Jerusalem and the streams of that river would make glad its inhabitants, the city of our God. If you go on over to the book of Ezekiel, Ezekiel has a vision of a river that flows from the temple down to the Dead Sea. And Ezekiel says that everything that the river touches experiences life. The trees that grow on the banks of the river, they produce a harvest every single month. Well, it's that picture that I feel like was inspiration for us in and coming here to, to Chattanooga and planning a church that would be a spiritual river that would flow down the streets of this city, downtown, the suburbs, every part of Chattanooga. And the streams of that river would go to every region of our city, every neighborhood, every community, and bring hope and gladness by bringing the gospel of Jesus Christ. That's been the dream. A little over a week ago, I was sitting in a morning devotion and the man speaking was speaking directly to me and he didn't even realize it. He said, God is looking for more river churches. He went on to define a river church as a group of people that flow out into their cities, reaching every nook and cranny of their society. He literally said, God is looking for more river churches. He made the distinction between river churches and lake churches. He said that a lake church is a church where people flow in and stay, seeking to get more and more people around one pastor in one place. He said that a, a river church is distinctively different. Here people flow in, but they keep moving downstream. God takes them to other places to minister. The health of the church isn't determined by volume contained or the number of people in the weekly gatherings, but rather the flow rate of people through moving in their callings and purposes as it relates to being disciples who make disciples. He said river churches focus more on flowing than they focus on growing. And we could all agree that the idea of a river church sounds good, but a lake church is more practical. River churches can be messy and at times lean as people flow in and flow out into other areas of their life to bring the message of the gospel of Jesus and to in the presence of God wherever they go. And still at other times, the church can feel very deep and wide where we see more people gathering in the same place and growing together. In those times, it's tempting to dam up the river and to settle for just being a lake church. But when we do that, we prioritize addition over multiplication, and we become blind to the greater vision of the Great Commission and its call for us to make disciples who make disciples. So this got me asking the question, are we really who we say we are? From the very beginning, God has called us to be a river church. Now that means that we are to be a group of people who flow into the places where God calls us to carry the gospel of Jesus and to influence the places where he would lead us. That means at some point that the people who are with us now may flow through and on to some other place of ministry in this city or elsewhere where they're able to be disciples who make disciples. Ideally, they'll plant more churches more river churches. Now they may not have the same name, but they'll have the same DNA and they'll be filled with people who are disciples making disciples. Practically speaking, that means that God may be looking at some of you to move on from here at some point to plant other churches in the city, in this area, in the nation, in another part of the world. Now, if you've been part of the River Church family for any amount of time, you've probably seen a fair number of people flow in and flow out of our community of faith. In some cases, 
It's been difficult to watch. But what if we collectively and intentionally, key word here, intentionally began to look forward into the future, knowing that God will raise up church planners right here among us and lead them from here to some other place to start another river church as opposed to yet another lake church in the city of Chattanooga? What if we aligned ourselves to assist in that process? What if we weren't what if we weren't passively standing by watching people flow in and flow out, but we became an active part in sending them, planting more river churches? What if we were actively involved in the process of flow, helping people find their places of divine destiny by planting, leading, growing, and expanding the kingdom, and ultimately multiplying churches? Then we would truly be a multiplying church. Then we would truly be a river church. In the days ahead, I'm going to talk to you about what it looks like to practically, at the ground level, be a multiplying church. It's a high calling. And God has inspired a dream and a calling for us to truly become who we say we are. But it has to start with you and me as leaders in this community of faith, intentionally living as disciples who make disciples. So I hope that you'll stay connected. And more than that, that you'll step into the river and allow God to take you in the flow of where he wants to take this community of faith, using you to be a disciple who makes disciples who makes disciples. And even being willing, if the Lord should call you to plant not just another lake church, but a river church. So what are you waiting for? Let's jump into the river.